And as you've heard, welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. In the last episode, we began our out of this world adventure with Mario and the gang getting chased down by the evil Cursa and all of their intergalactic minions. And now we're heading to a whole new planet. So let's see what's in store for us there. Okay, so we're in deep water, save Beacon Town. And I can see some stuff in the distance too. So I wonder, oh, there's like a little thing on the ground here. It's like a giant egg, but this glowy thing here, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if there's too much we should be messing with right now or if we should just focus on the main quest. I guess we'll just focus on just going down the main path and we'll, we'll try to find extra collectibles along the way. But if we get to see Beacon Town, that'd be cool. Oh man, this is bad. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but do we have a timetable on that lighthouse tentacle situation? <laughs> Folks have this weird idea I control the sun and can make it rise whenever I want, mostly because I told them I could. Okay, well let's try to help out Augie here. Got a couple of coins waiting for us and how do we cross the water? Oh, we just walk across, no problem. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, Anyone who touches that puddle is sent to the darkness dimension. I bet it's not fun over there either. So, Ark of Dark dark Mass, not darkness. Um, I guess we'll do that soon. We have to be level two for it though, so I don't know if it's a good idea just yet. Please help us, our village is under siege. Hold X to run to the plaza. Oh yeah, and this is the little merchant. Big flash sale going on. Do my audio visual capacitors deceive me or do I see some discerning customers with an eye for quality here? My usual customers, they have what I call value blindness. For them, I put out factory returns, overstock items. Still, they do nothing but haggle over price and badge me over reward points. Me with six little pedal or bots at home. I can't afford to buy them all shoes, so they have to share. But do I complain? No. I continue to offer amazing deals, such as first time Beacon Beach customers get two free super mushrooms. My loss is your gain, but after this, if you want to a full team heal anytime, you'll need to pay or anytime except combat. Okay, so the item bag. Check your new item bag in combat and use an item to boost your strategy. But be wise, as each hero can use only one item per turn and it will cost an action point. Gotcha, so there are new items here. We have like the mushroom, the super mushroom, which heals 30% HP, a classic, the pow block, unleashes a shockwave once thrown, it deals damage to everything in its vicinity, and these are pretty expensive. The cooldown clock refreshes all of your sparks and your and techniques for immediate use. Interesting, so we'll buy maybe a mushroom. Do I have any at the moment? I own two of them, so let's buy a pow block instead. I'll buy a pow block and we'll buy a um, cooldown clock, just so we can figure out what some of these things do, but we'll have to learn more about the other ones soon enough. Like the Star Potion, level up any spark with this delicious celestial beverage fortified with vitamins and minerals. Very cool. So, that's some good stuff. Oh, I can shake this bush too. Do I get anything for it? I don't, but we'll keep running around talking to different rabbits. The village is menaced by something powerful. No force in the galaxy can stop it. Well, we'll see about that. So, where are we headed up here? I guess so. So let's see what's going on around. There's a bob bomb. Help, help. Uh-oh. The bob bombs are patrolling. Oh, oh no. Huh? What do we do? I guess we fight. Robin Mario's up to the challenge. Uh-oh. It's taking notice. Here it comes. All of us versus one bob bomb. We got a dash? Come on, Mario. You got it. Uh oh, oh, that must have not have been good. I think we're headed into a battle or something. What is going on? This is so cool. Oh, <laughs> Mama me! Come on, Luigi and Pippo too. The whole squad is going somewhere. I don't really know what's happened at the moment, but it's awesome. So here we are, the explosive situation. Defeat all of the bob bombs, and there is a bunch in the takeout now. It's not just one of them. Manage your team. Let's check the team management menu. Inside, you can choose who to bring in your team. So, let's definitely do that. For right now, we have um, Mario and Rabbit Peach. You can browse through your heroes and swap the ones in the team with the ones that joined us. Select your favorite team of heroes without any restrictions. So, for right now, I just think we want to keep with two. I don't think we can. Well, can we add more? No, I'd have to swap it out, as you can see. I think we're still, of course, learning how to use Mario and Rabbit Peach, so for at least this battle, we'll keep with these two, but we'll start swapping out and checking out different characters as we adventure through the game. So for right now, here we go. Uh, dash, pick up, and throw. Dash, pick up, and throw a bob bomb to deal a lot of damage in an area. Interesting. So as Mario here, I can 
dash through this guy. I can, oh, I gotta do it quick too. And then throw it. There you go. And then we can hide somewhere like this. And we got a bunch of star bits for that one, so that's cool. Um, Actually, if we hide here, I could blast you. And then I guess, hmm, actually, maybe there's a better way to do this. Not from what I see. You know what, I'll leave Mario here for now. We'll switch over to Rabbit Peach, and I will do the same thing. Dash, pick up, and throw. Very good, very good. So now we'll have Rabbit Peach right here, and I think I have an idea. Um, if, we, if we leave them there, I can get Mario to jump off of them. Yeah, team jump, there we go. And then try to get up here. Ooh, look at this move. And then from here, I might be able to do a couple of things. First off, I will, um, here, I'll blast you. Oh, that's gonna explode me? Uh oh, can we move in the corner? Are we gonna be safe now? I guess we'll find out, I don't think so. So maybe I should blast this one first. Then, we will blast you. Boom, boom. Ow, okay, or if I would took a little bit of damage, but nothing, that'll be like the end of the world, right? So, uh, we'll switch back over to Rabbit Peach, where I can maybe just fire at you over here, and that should be the last one of them. So you can see how we can combine these different strategies to get rid of a lot of enemies really quickly. And so while we did take some damage as Mario, it could have been worse. So there we go, we heal up because... Ooh, look at that, level two. We got some skill prisms? Not sure what that is, but 35 coins and 20 star bits is our reward. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, in the previous game we had like gold medal rankings. We had bronze, silver, and gold, but we don't seem to have that here. But here comes a rabbit hopping out. Nice work getting rid of that bob -omb. I was worried to kaboom the poor creature I found. Poor creature? Oh, and here's that lighthouse. See, the door to the lighthouse can only be unlocked by the sun. With it gone, we can't get inside normally. Lucky for you, this clever little critter can make its own light. Watch, I'll show you. Oh, so what is this? It's another Luma. A little spark. You okay? It just goes straight to the sun. So I guess we'll have to go catch up with them, but it's definitely making its own lane. Whoa. Wow. We should look at that. So with the light being shown, this thing is rising out of the water. Oh my. Whoa. So what is that place? Just have to go and see. Skill prism obtained. You just unlocked your first skill prisms. You can use them in the skill tree to empower your heroes. Okay, so we do have a skill tree in this game. This is the skill tree. It is used to upgrade your hero's abilities during the battles. Skill prisms are the currency you can spend to activate upgrades. Each hero has their own set of skill prisms. They can be used and refunded at any time without cost. You can find the skill tree inside the Heroes tab of the Team menu. Sure, okay, so, interesting. I think for now we'll focus on Mario. Uh, we have Health, Movement, Weapon, and Technique upgrades, and we have one prism. So, we can either upgrade Mario's Health, his Movement, okay, Um, with this one, we get a Glide Boost, increases the Glide Time after Mario performs a Team Jump, that could be useful. If we keep upgrading these, as you can see, we get different ones, like Stomp, ooh, that sounds good. And I remember a lot of these from the first game, or huge unlocks that made the game a lot easier and more approachable. Um, so something like weapons, we get a higher critical hit chance or hero sight damage increases Mario hero sight damage. Hmm. I think for right now, we will do, I think weapon actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's do critical hit chance and we can of course refund things I think at some point, but for right now we're just gonna do that. Um, and then switch over to Peach. Yeah, yeah, and then use the prism here. So let's customize Peach a little bit. Um, we can either do extra health. Uh, let's see, glide boost is the same thing. So it looks like some pretty similar stuff here for right now. We could improve the mega heal as well, but for that one, we need two points. So I think for right now, we'll just make Peach or Rabbit Peach a little bit tankier. Increases Rabbit Peach's maximum number of health points by to 638. Sounds good to me. And we can change the stuff at any time, so that's really good. And it looks like we do the same thing with Luigi, Rabbit Luigi, Peach, and Rabbit Mario. Once we try those characters out a little bit, so we can see their strengths and weaknesses, I'll definitely do that. But for right now, let's just keep them how they are. Uh, but we're in deep in water. Enter the Sunrise Temple. So let's talk to a few people first. That poor spark of light got spooked and flew that way. 
Uh, I really thought we'd be bond we bonded too. Aw. So can we go inside any of these buildings? Oh, we can. Oh, that's so cool. So let's take a look inside this one. Whoa, there's a little rabbit in here. Are you okay, buddy? I was resigned to living with a bob bomb outside my door forever. Thank you for getting rid of it. I'm glad I could help. Is there anything we can do, though? I guess not. So we'll leave that be. Got to talk to a character a little bit. And I'm sure there's a lot to explore in these areas. We'll, we'll discover more as we're getting across all of it. But if I take a look here, is there like any kind of map or like, yeah, here's our progression. I wanna see specifically for Beacon Beach. There are 30 sparks to find, five planet keys, 45 weapon skins, and 72 memories. I don't think all of that we're supposed to find here specifically, but I'm mostly focused on just progressing Beacon Beach. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to keep looking forward to the main quest for right now. Let's enter the Sunrise Temple. I guess we're going back the way we came. I do want to try that red ring over there. I'm guessing it's gonna pop up some red coins. Let's find out. Whoa, here we go, here we go, gotta run quick. Come on, red coin challenge. Got it. A few more over this way, we gotta keep moving quick. All right. Grab some normal coins along the way, one more. I got it, all eight of them. Very cool. And that's gonna give us a treasure chest, whoa. Red coin challenge, planet coin, Awarded, huh, and there's some extra coins for us too. Very, very nice. So I'll talk to you really quickly as well. I wonder what that's, where that spark went. I think it went over here, yeah. Uh, look at this big, this uh, seagull. That's interesting. Somebody else to talk to. I'm keeping an eye on that dark mist tentacle. I hear Cursa uses them to sap all the energy from a planet. Nasty stuff. So we gotta be careful a lot of kind of things. But over this way, I see a lot going on. But if I see any more rabbits to talk to, oh, wait a minute, there's a Bob on the fight. Should we do this? I guess we should take whatever chance we can to fight to boost up our team a little bit more. Um, and we see the sparkly tree. I bet you if I shake that, something can happen. Bob bombs are in everything. I got a great deal on this vacation package. Now I know why. This place is crawling with Bob bombs. I'm more stressed than when I left. Would you get rid of the, at least three of them? I could really use the R&R. &R. So first off, let's shake this tree and see what we got. Uh, what is that? Um. I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, I have no clue. I'll drop it for now, but maybe I could use it for something. In the meantime, let's try to fight up a few bob bombs. Uh, there we go. Oh, I dashed them too, so I get a good start with the battle. That's pretty cool. Oh my, look at this place. So I do want to change my team up a little bit this time. We'll just try two new characters. Um, so. Let's see, how do I do that? Um, heal your team, I don't need that. There's a Beepo Tacticam, so we can take a good look around at all the different enemies and stuff, which is really useful. Um, manage our team, here we go. So instead of Mario and Rabbit Peach, let's do Luigi and Rabbit Luigi. There we go, so we take a look at their descriptions. Um, Rabbit Luigi is a sneak attacker. Um, Luigi does his best to work from afar, where he's capable of attacks that deal a lot of damage. And when it comes to Rabbit Luigi, he's a pest. All right, Rabbit Luigi is most skilled at diminishing enemies by reducing the damage they are capable of dealing out. Interesting. So as you can see, there's different things there. But when it comes to the sparks, some of them don't even have a spark equipped. So I could maybe take Mario's and put it on Rabbit Luigi. And the sparks are super important. So like Luigi has Reflector. Um, and with this one, 20% of the damage intended for the hero is redirected towards the enemy. And the Attack Master increases weapon base attacks damage by 10%. And I could upgrade these too? I would need star bits. Oh, so I feed them star bits just like in Mario Galaxy and that upgrades them. We're gonna save our star bits for now as I figure out how these work and decide which one I wanna upgrade the most. But then we had Starburst. Very cool. So definitely we will make the most of those. Wait, did I back out of the fight? No, no, okay. Um, here we go. So with Luigi and Rabbit Luigi, let's see how things work out. So first things first, I do see these two, which I can dash through no problem. Um, and then maybe I could, remember we're supposed to be trying to stay, trying to stay far away. So maybe I could um, vault over this and hide about here. Okay, so switching back over to Rabbit Luigi, he can't quite reach these two, but what we could do is just wait right here and do something. But what is Rabbit Luigi's special move? He has exhaust. All targets are struck with, the weaken effect, reducing the damage they cause. When we switch back over to Luigi, he has Steely Stare. Targets moving within range uh, within the range in the hero's line of sight are dealt 100% damage, plus any super effects has one charge. Gotcha. Um, 
Okay, I'm trying to figure out what's the best thing to do here. I think for right now, we'll try this. The Disruptor throws one to second hit the three targets sequentially, ignores partial cover. Okay, so let's try this right here. So cool new disc ability, I think that's new. Um, So that was pretty cool. And then I guess we might just leave them there, switch back over to Luigi and try out this bow and arrow move. The sharpshooter fires one projectile. The farther the target, the more damage it deals. Let's give it a try. Ooh, 118 damage, and that's going to break some of the different pieces around there. So we can end our turn like that, right? We also have different things there, but let's move to the enemy turn. Yep, pass the turn. This is so cool so far. I'm really having a ton of fun. Um, I think I want to start with Rabbit Luigi, go over here and just dash you and then run before you explode. And I think that was the last one. Guess we're going to find out. Um. Are you gonna explode? Oh, you will, you will. Toss it, ah! There you go, much better. And I think that's the battle done. Battle cleared, that was fun. And that should get us a little bit closer to our next level up. And of course, more coins and star bits. We're not gonna play that one again. Instead, we'll move on because there was more bob -omb we needed to defeat to make that one rabbit happy. And of course, we'll be doing our best to take our time through this game, go through and just do as much as we can. I don't know if we'll get everything in Beacon Town done in today's episode, but I'll certainly try to get as much done as possible while still focusing on the main mission. Okay, so here we are with this one. It's still going to be me and Rabbit Luigi or Luigi and Rabbit Luigi as I just try to you know figure out how things work. So for now, let's move with this. I might take a quick look with uh, Beepo. You can see there's one enemy here, and I should say their names, right? Those are Stooges, and then of course, bob -omb's, which they all have their own little descriptions. Uh, Simple-minded, it limits itself to attacking opponents from behind cover. And then the, the bob -omb's. will seek out the closest opponent and explode in their proximity. Can be dashed, then picked up and thrown, after which they'll go kablooey upon impact. Okay, so some good stuff to keep in mind there. I think we'll start our battle with this. You can't stop Ouija, that's true. We're gonna dash through you, and then I think, Maybe go off this way a little bit. Hmm, I'm trying to think this through. Where's the best place to put them? Maybe just here so we can blast them? We'll switch over to Rabbit Luigi and just decide from there. Um, Because what I could do is dash through you. See ya. See ya. Uh, boss over this. The movement is so much more improved in this game. It's crazy. Team jump. No, no. Why does the team jump sometimes not work? There we go. And then we want to probably just float over like this because we could maybe use this, whoa, hold on. Let's move over a little bit. There we go, much better. So this will be a one, two, and not hitting the third one quite as much, but that's gonna hurt Luigi. So before we do that, let's move Luigi over a little bit. This is so neat, I love how this works. So maybe here would be safe? Let's try it. Yep, Luigi should be safe. Let's throw this disruptor. Boom, boom, and not quite getting it. But that's all right. And then maybe we could uh, try out some of our other moves here. Yeah, that's gonna exhaust them, so if they do hit Luigi, whoa, look at the funky footwork, they weren't kidding. Wow. That's gonna make it so they hit a little less. And we might as well try Luigi's move over this way. The, um, the Steely Stare, before we do, you know what, I'm going to move Luigi right here. That way, you know, I can't hit them directly with this. As you can see, it's gonna do zero damage. We can take that fire, it just doesn't do too, too, too much. We'll try the Silly Stare there, though. If they do run out here, we can just blast them. And look at Luigi. Ooh. He is ready to take anyone down as the enemy moves out, but actually the other direction. Looks like they're a bit afraid of us. They couldn't quite reach us though. So this is Luigi's chance just to run out this way. We still can't quite reach him from here, can we? No, we can't. So maybe I'll leave Luigi. We'll switch over to Rabbit Luigi and do the same thing. We'll dash you first. And then just for point blank range, I get hit you with this and just finish you off. So, you know what, there we go. Another battle won. That'll be the second bob I'm taken down too. And we're level three with these two. And the rest of our team also gets the experience, which is really, really cool. Um, we're going to move forward and try to look for the last set of bob -omb's here. Skill prism obtained. Check your skill tree now. I'll do that in a bit. Like I said, I want to focus on getting rid of bob -omb's. But I don't see any more around for the time being. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, we can just keep moving this way. I like how whoever we choose is out in front. Uh, I've been out here for days, but the concert won't start until the weather improves. That cursor ruins everything. Oh, no. Poor thing. <laughs> Those big sandals. All right, then. 
Um, what about you? No cheap beats for now, my concert's postponed. But we do get a free mushroom. There you go. Super mushroom attained, check your items now. I don't need to, I, I know what it is. Oh, there you are again. Hey, can I talk to you? I can. Uh. Oh, Beepo, my man. <laughs> Beepo, about that temple situation. Any chance we could fast track that? I could really use a win. This guy seems pretty silly so far, but yeah, we're heading up here so that we can head into the temple. And whoa, look at the sack of coins back this way. Don't mind if I do. Is there any kind of secret down this way? See, these little spirals, they have to be something, right? I'm pressing buttons over it, but it's not doing anything just yet. Maybe we'll unlock like, a shovel or something later on. You never know. I'll grab these extra coins waiting for us before we move on into the temple, however I can. Crossing the battleground. Huh, okay. So let's try that out. Do I just go in from here? I guess so. Deep water. Whoa! Okay, this looks complicated. We gotta reach that area over that way. So this will be my last one with Luigi and Rabbit Luigi before we switch over to the last set of characters. Oh man, that's a fire spark? Pyrostar, you gotta win this battle so I can leave with you, else I'm stuck here. You know, we were following a different spark earlier, but <laughs> the more the merrier. I agree. Here's a tip, the bad guys on this particular battlefield are pretty apathetic. Get to the other end of the battlefield and they'll give up. Huh. Okay, we have the Tacticam. By pressing L, Beepo is able to move around the battlefield and analyze both heroes and enemies. You can also browse between them using left and right. Analyze heroes and enemies. Each time you encounter new enemies, remember to analyze them. It will help to understand their abilities and behaviors. Definitely, and I've been doing that already, but let's you know continue with it. We'll click in and go to the Beepo Tac. Beepo tactic camp. I haven't read about Goombas. Typically attacks in groups where they seek to get the close close enough to opponents to use their dash. So that's Goombas, and then over this way we have a new type of enemy waiting for us. This is Scoper. Highly mobile with a long range two shot attack. Gotcha, so gotta keep in mind all that kind of stuff. But I think we're just good to go with this team. And I will run over, dash these through to get rid of the Goombas then we can maybe just keep Luigi posted about here. We wanna keep Rob and Luigi the front runner. So we could team jump over to something. Yeah, let's team jump. And I guess I'll get over to this side, if it'll let me, there we go. And then I can dash through all three of these Goombas wait, right here. And hopefully I can get the disc over. But for right now, let's switch back over to Luigi. And yeah, I guess since I can't do too much else, I'll try to blast some of these guys. Yeah, something like that, boom. And then maybe oh, Rabbit yeah. Luigi can get rid of the other two. We switch back over, TL. Oh, yes, he can. That's really cool. Boom, boom. So no more Goombas to worry about. It's just us and the Scopers. So do we want to do anything more? Um, I can't really do this and actually reach them, no target in range. And I have this thing, but obviously not worth it to do bonus damage right now if we can't reach them. Um, with this, this will reflect. So 20% of the damage intended for the hero is redirected towards the enemy but also won't really affect us, I don't think, too much. We're gonna end the turn here then, and see what they do. They're blasting away that wall. Oh, that's actually really risky. Scopers didn't quite hit us, but they definitely could have. So this is where we can maybe do some crazy stuff. If I team jump off of you, I can get a little bit closer with Luigi. Maybe about here? Perfect. Um, and Luigi can't hit them super well, but what we could do is we could oh, yeah. activate the Steely Stare. Oh boy, here we go. Luigi's got it. <laughs> they can't move a muscle without Luigi blasting them. And in the meantime, we can hit them with a sharpshooter. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't land, but it could have, you know? Um, so what we wanna do now is switch over to Rabbit Luigi, jump over here, the team jump again, if it'll let me. No, no, no. Team jump. And then I'm going to land right about here. I think that was pretty good. Cause now what we can do is walk up and tackle you. Luigi can hit you. Oh, the combo, beautiful stuff. Um, And the battle's cleared. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause all I'm trying to do is get over there. I forgot. <laughs> that was so cool though. Either way, I just sort of forgot the goal of the mission. So battle cleared, we get coins and we get star bits. Let's keep it moving. So far it feels like there's been a lot of really fun balances and tweaks from the original game. 
the things that were maybe a little frustrating, they just dealt with so well. But here we get Pyrostar joining the team. A new Spark just joined your team. Equip it in the Spark menu and have it ready to fight alongside your heroes. So, we could do that soon, in just a moment. I think we'll change up our team a little bit. This is the Spark management screen. Here you can assign any Spark that joined your team to one of your heroes. In this area, you can check the power and bonus granted by the Spark. Choose your Sparks wisely. Each of them has a peculiar power that could help you in each battle. So this is Pyrostar, um, who has burn attack. All weapons based attacks are charged with burn super effect and deal 120% damage. The burn protector as well. All super effect damage is reduced by 20% heroes are not affected by burn super effects. Very interesting. So we could swap that out if we wanted to. Uh, press, press X to access the upgrade screen. Here you can feed the sparks with star bits and star potions. They will become stronger and help you more effectively. So yeah, we could do that right now. Um, I have 219 of them, so I'm trying to save it out until I try each one, and then we can decide which ones to level up. I'm going to give this spark to Peach, I think. Right over this way. Got it. And then I do want to change my team up a little bit. We're going to change to Peach and uh, Rabid Mario, or the last two characters we've yet to try. So if we read a little bit about them. Princess Peach is a protector type. Princess Peach is skilled at providing protection to all the other heroes, even when they are otherwise vulnerable. And Mario, of course, is an all-rounder, but we don't want to read about that. We want to read about Rabid Mario, who is a brawler. Rabid Mario deals massive damage at close range, usually with his gauntlets, the Dukes. Very cool. So good to see all that kind of thing. Um, for right now, we're just going to keep with this squad and move forward. So here we are. We get a bunch more star bits for all that kind of stuff. And can we go inside? Yes, we can. So follow the spark of light into the temple. Oh my. Ah! Wait, what? Ah! Who are you? Uh, he's not gonna say a word. Somebody's chasing after us into the temple. Who could that be? Guess we'll have to find out. Can we look behind ourselves right now and see anybody? Not quite. Quite the mystery then. So for right now, we're just gonna move forward and follow that spark of light. I guess this might be a temple entrance flag. You just discovered a new teleport flag. Open the menu to use it and fast travel around the planet. Okay. So what button do I press for that? Uh, I forget already. Um, Maybe it was this one. So yeah, here I am. And this is in deep water of all the sparks light. That's where I'm supposed to be going. But how do I go to the beacon beach map? And I guess I could teleport to different places here. So obviously we don't really have too many other flags right now, but there is so much to do in these areas. It's great. So we have the darkness outside the lighthouse. So many different things that we'll tackle over time, but we can see our progression. It's, it's slowly getting farther. I guess it might take us more than one episode to, you know, sort of really discover everything. But you know what? That's fine with me. For right now, we are just going to keep moving and see what we can find around here. What is this? Some ancient artwork. Apparently, Augie believes he's from a family of proud demigods. For such divine creatures, murals must be like family photos. Huh. Unfortunately, this regal depiction of the birth of Augie and his twin, Perfectus, is marred by Augie's chronic dyspepsia. Yeah, gotcha. Augie is often Seemingly very scared of things. Maybe if they could conquer that fear, they could be much stronger. Either way, what's going on in here? There's a little spark we need to chase. There! I saw the spark of light. It went over that big old device, or crevice. Oh, it said device. Hmm, perhaps we could cross over it with that plank, but we'd need to raise the water level there somehow. Well, maybe there's some kind of puzzle afoot then. So, can we move this? Yes, we can. So, moving this over would allow, allow this water to move. And I guess we can maybe irrigate it to the, the water mill there? Interesting, but who's over here? Let, let's take a look around. Hello. Boy, Goombas are intimidating. A little Goomba goes a long way. If you could defeat even three of them, I'd be grateful. So, we gotta take on some Goombas at some point, the Goomba hunt. So, there's these little side quests we need to discover. And still more of these things I don't know what to do about. Um. Well, here's one of the Goombas if we wanted to try. We're sort of looping around at the moment, but I think I want to. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's try this one Goomba. Ready, boom, dash right into you, Robin, Mario, and Peach are coming right at you. 
You better be ready, Goombas. Okay, so as you can see, we have bob bombs and Goombas waiting for us all over the place. Hopefully we can handle them. So, here we go. I don't think we need to manage too much here. Um, as you can see, well, I guess one thing I could have done was apply a spark to Rabbit Mario. We didn't do that, that's okay. Uh, but if we take a look, we have the Boom Brella. Bursts one wave at the targets. The farther the targets, the less damage it deals. Ignore partial cover. So as you can see with this one, this one's closer the more damage it does. We also have um, Peach's move, which is Team Barrier. Creates a barrier that protects all eyes within range against all damage or super effects, grants two charges. That's actually really good. And with our burn attack, all weapons based, based attacks do 120 to 150 damage and have burn super effects. So that's some pretty good stuff there. Before I mess with too much of that, I think I want to look to see what Princess Peach can really do here. I think instead of maybe all that, what I'll do is I'll stand maybe over there. I'm trying to figure out where, where's the best spot for me to be at the moment. Um, hold on. Let's switch over to Rabbit Mario and see what their moves are, first and foremost. We have uh, the Dukes, which uh, no target in range. It won't even tell us what they do. But we also have the Counter Blow. Foes using weapon attacks are immediately counterattacked. It was 100% damage, has only one try. I didn't mean to use it yet. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Whoops. So we have this ready for us if somebody decides to attack us. I didn't really mean to use it yet. I don't know if there's an undo button in this game, but we can try team jumping and landing maybe over here. Because I could dash into you, pick this up, toss it on the Goombas, and now we just sort of have to stand here. But that's fine with me. Okay, yeah, we'll just... Leave it here. Oh, here we go, the Dukes. Unleash three waves of the same, um, waves at the same targets, hitting any other targets inside each wave's area. Will this hurt Peach? I don't think it will. All right, ready for this? Boom! That is so cool! So that like ignores cover as well. And that's the battle cleared! Wow, what a combo! That was amazing! And Rapid Mario's flexing. So 30 coins, 15 serpents, and a power block as a reward. That feels pretty nice again. I'm loving just sort of devising the different strategies, but that's one Goomba defeated. We needed to defeat three of them. So if we find any more along the way, we'll definitely have to take them on. But for right now, hello. What are you? It's like a little crab bot. I can open it and get Sunrise Temple Memory. You just you just obtained your first memory. Open the Memories menu to check Lovely. it. So if I go to the Memories menu really quickly, just to see what this is like, um, I don't know which one we just got. I think this one, probes and memories. Huh, so I don't know, they could be red? Beepo with help from his friend. Gotcha, so I might not look through all these right now just because it would take up a lot of time, but maybe we'll look at this once we complete everything in Beacon Beach or maybe a bonus episode of some sort. For right now, let's focus on the game where we have a little ladder. Okay, let's climb down this then and see what else we can find. So yeah, we're, we're back here, we looped around, but we found a lot of cool stuff along the way, so that was worth it. Um, I can move these, right? Oh, I see, I need to move this one first, then this one. Got it. And can I look at this too? By Looking good. Ten, Augie's brother was the patron deity of effortless victories, epic love poems, and glistening six-pack abs. Whoa. So maybe Augie's twin? Sort of took all the glory. Maybe that's why Augie's so scared. All right, let's try to pull this one over. That's gonna let some of the water through, but not all of it. So let's try to move this one first, if possible, just like that. And then, ooh, actually not quite enough room. Huh, how are we going to, because we just need a bit more space. Maybe I could yeah, just make some room like this really quickly. There we go. I think that might be enough to move this one. Perfect, okay. It doesn't, well actually, does that really accomplish anything? Hard to tell at the moment. Maybe I could just, yeah, just squeeze that to the side. There we go. And it looks like that gets the watermill moving. Very cool, very cool. So follow the spark of light. We're still working on that. I don't think there's anything else over there, so. We do have another picture to check out, though. What is this one? Whoa, that's the Augie. The trophy Augie won as a child was for second place in a Broadworth eating contest. Aww. 
Okay, so Augie didn't win a lot as a kid. Let's grab some extra coins. And oh, some more Goombas. Yeah. Let's go for them. Yeah. Boom, the Super Dash. So I'm ready to take on more Goombas, bob -ombs, and whatever else we might run into. It's just Goombas this time. Actually, I do see one little rabbit. I think we can handle it. Uh, let's just go with this. Well, first off, before we do, let's manage our team and make sure that Rabbit Mario has some kind of spark with them, just because, you know, it's better to need it and not have it, right? We'll do Reflector. I think that's fine. And now we can get back to the action. We're good to start. Here we go. So how do I want to do this? I could, remember, we only have one dash per round. So we probably want to do something like this and set you up right here. Or maybe I could set you up right here and blast a bunch of them. Um, we could do that. Let's switch over to Rabbit Mario for the time being. And just leave them MVP, there MVP. for now. MVP. <laughs> Whoa, we could do that. Or we could do some massive damage with this one, but this one doesn't hurt the one rabbit for some reason. This one would though. But this gets rid of so many Goombas. I might try this one. Oh, that is crazy. All right then, so uh, we'll switch back over to Rabbit Mario. You, yeah, you can't dodge, dash through this one. But we could just be, you know, pretty beefy with it. Just stand right here and, what does this one do again? Counter blow. That could be good. For right now, we'll just focus on attacking like this. Oh, oops. And that should do away with you pretty easily. And then we'll activate these just in case. Because we get fully restored with each fight so far. It seems. At least with our abilities, our health only gets so much recovered. But I might as well just get these set up then. So. We'll get the team barrier so that if somehow they do attack us beyond all of that, we should be defended. Very nice. So you got a lot of different uh, teammates here. Oh no, and it looks like we still took some damage here. I thought that would activate Rabbit Mario's stuff, but for right now we're gonna shoot the dudes again. Oh my goodness, look at the damage from that one. That was crazy. Battle cleared. That was so cool. So with that, we get 30 coins, 15 star bits, and the cooldown clock. Pretty cool reward. So even if we take a little bit of damage, it doesn't seem like there's any kind of like perfect bonus like the previous game had, which honestly relieves a lot of stress from me. Just getting through it seems to be enough for this one. But the Goomba hunt, some progress has been made. Is that a giant pretzel and some cookies? We got some food down here too. Still oh, there we go. If we spin in place, that gets it. Okay, let me go back really quickly then and get the other ones I might have missed. So spinning in place, I, I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. So let me go back and make sure we didn't miss any kind of collectibles with that one that we passed earlier. Yep, here it is. So if we spin in place, that is so cool. So far it looks like it's just extra coins, but of course extra coins can go a long, long way. Okay, so we're back on the path and I also missed a picture, so I guess it's sort of good that this all worked out the way it did. The ocean is said to have been formed by the tears of Perfectus's hairdressers, who wept with joy while brushing his golden mane. Wow. It's hard to compete with a twin whose name is Perfectus. Uh, but... Two days for the dough to rise, eight hours to knead, and after licking the cinnamon glaze off, Augie tosses it aside. That's sort of wasteful, isn't it? I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I love pretzels. Okay, well, here's another picture. Augie's first job was to help sailors in distress. This mural is called Sentinel of the Seas. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. All right then, so, interesting. Uh, what about over here? Oh, it's the shop. Hey, let's talk to you then. The customer is king. So what can we buy here? I mean, obviously we have extra stuff we could even sell, but there's also things like, oh, what are these? These are like little, there's a, there's a couple things. We could do star potions to level up our sparks even more. We have the sunrise key, buyer beware, no refunds. Might unlock some atypical door on Beacon Beach, maybe. Okay, they only cost seven coins, right? Oh no, it costs seven sun things. So I'll try to save that up so we can get that key. But there's other things here, like I guess like encyclopedia entries for different enemies, as well as improved weapons. Once again, those need the Beacon Beach tokens or whatever they're supposed to be. So we'll try to find more of those soon. Because those seem very, very important. Um, I don't see anything too much over here, so let's keep it going. Oh, there's our little spark of light. You okay? Huh? Uh, I promise we're not gonna hurt you. We're friends. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was that? 
We gotta go save them. Whoa, <laughs> the flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> the hair dryer. You gotta keep it dry. What is that stuff? Oh no. Poor little spark. So we have to fight this thing? Oh my goodness. Hurry, we've got to go after that spark of light. I'm on it, but. Without the spark, we will not be able to enter the lighthouse. Huh? Uh, gee, that is far from the only reason we should save that poor creature. Obviously, defeating the Darkmas Tentacle will also provide us with one of two purified Darkmas energy crystals we need. However, this creature's higher density of Darkmas energy, as compared to Puddles, means our enemies will be more formidable. Huh. Uh, that's what I get for buying you an off-the-shelf AI empathy module to save time. So we have to triumph over the dark mist tentacle. Oh my. Is there anything we can do in this area before we hop into that? I don't quite think so. But to prepare for this fight, we probably want to upgrade some of our sparks with whatever characters we decide to go with as well. So yeah, I'll do that in just a moment. I just wanted to take a look around. Look at the strawberry shortcake. Ooh. Can't imagine what could cause Augie of all people to abandon a delicious cheesecake. We'd best keep on our toes. Oh no. So before we do any of that, I do see some extra enemies up here. And if we're gonna be fighting the Dark Mass Tentacle, I'm sure we wanna boost up as much as we can. So let's go ahead and take you on. And this will be our last time with Rabbid Mario and Peach specifically, so that we can sort of figure out how they work. But I think after this, we'll level a bunch of people up and just really try to make sure we're at our strongest to take on this Dark Mass Tentacle. Wow. So I think we've seen this layout before, right? Seems pretty similar. But there's like some mud on the ground. Does that slow us down at all? I guess we'll find out. For right now, we're just gonna keep with this. I will dash. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, can I undo? Is there any undo button? I don't think so. You could restart the battle. You wanna restart the battle. Okay, let's try this now. Let's see, does this reduce our rewards or anything like that? I don't think so. So I meant to dash through all three of them and doing that will probably be pretty important. So let's try this again. Here we go. Yeah, make sure I get all three of them, set myself up right about here, and then we'll switch over to Rabbit Mario, who can't quite reach those guys from here, but what we could do is team jump, and then maybe just land in a little spot like this would probably be good. That gives me the chance. We dash through all three of them, get right over here, and start punching these guys like crazy. Here we go, oh, they're all in so much trouble. The burst damage. This is such a powerful weapon, I can't believe it. Um, and we're in a bit of trouble here, as you can see, but I think we could switch back to Peach. And yeah, unfortunately, this might do a little bit of damage, but it won't really. So I think we'll just wait this turn out for now. I don't know if the Goombas will reach Rabbid Mario, where he is. Oh, it looks like he will. So that's actually a lot of damage to Rabbid Mario. Switching back over to him now, we're just gonna dash through the three of them and finish the fight. Nobody's next, you beat them all. All right then, so pretty cool stuff. Do we get any extra health back from that? I guess not this time, so gotta be careful. Robin Wario did take some damage there, but what a powerful weapon he has. All right, the Goomba Hunt Planet Coin awarded. See, the Planet Coins seem to be super important. I don't know if I need to talk to that rabbit again to get it, but it looks like I just automatically received it. So that's pretty cool. And we have another memory to unlock here. Oh, yes. Very cool. So another memory found, the Augie memory. Very cool. I don't see anything else to do around this area, so I will plop back down on this side. Uh -oh. And check the other side. It looks like there was a ladder, but I couldn't quite reach it. So now might be the best time I have to just make sure that everybody is properly upgraded with whatever we have right now. So we have like Princess Peach. If we go to yeah, the skill tree, what can we upgrade for her? Just plenty of health, I think, but doing something like movement. So, and we could also upgrade this stuff. We could skip other things if we wanted to. So like upgrading her movement range, um, her extra dash could be really good. Extra dash just seem like something I would want to get as soon as possible. So let's get an extra dash. But now I'm down to one point. But where am I? No, oh, okay, I only had one. Oh, that requires three points to get. I see now, okay. Maybe not entirely worth it for right now. If we did uh, a glide boost like that. Just one, no, no, no. Uh, wait, how did I edit hmm? refund? 
There we go. Okay, I see what I did. Um, and then maybe we could do weapon damage or there's damage drop off. So drop off is when the farther it goes, the less damage it does. It reduces that reduction, <laughs> if that makes sense. Sorry, that's a little uh, a bit of a redundant statement, but you know what I mean. Uh, team barrier range increases the reach of team barriers range of effectiveness. Okay, so uh, sure. So we'll up upgrade those three things. It's just some basic upgrades, but that's good for Peach. And we basically have to do the same for all the characters now. So giving Rabid Mario some more movement would be perfect. Um, critical hit range is always good, but I think weapon damage or even punch frenzy plus two weapon hits could be huge. I think for right now though, we will do critical and then, cause that requires two points. Um, and then a little bit more health because it seems like Rabid Mario is a character that's out there in the front. So having extra health for them would be huge. For Mario, we could do improved movement, increases the glide time after Mario performs a team jump, and then um, hero sight damage. Pretty cool. Um, so there's all those points spent. Same thing for Rabbit Peach. If we could do an increased mega heal technique, I remember the heals being so important in the previous game. So getting that upgraded for right now is what I'll focus on. Now Luigi, we could do, I think movement range could be good. We could do an extra team jump already. Critical hit damage, weapon range. Remember the farther the range of Luigi's weapon, the more damage it does. So that could be good. Extra health is good too, but I think nothing we need to prioritize for Luigi since we want to keep him farther away from the opponents anyways. So I'll do extra, yeah, let's do extra movement range, just like that. And then, oh, I did two of them. Hold on, I just need one. Um, and if we have enough points, let's do an extra weapon range. And Steely Steer Damage sounds fantastic to me. So that's a good combo for Luigi for now. And of course, as we level up these characters, we'll have more upgrades available to them. Um, now for Rabbit Luigi, Exhaust Cooldown could be good. Let's do Weapon Damage, Dis Disruptor Ricochet Distance. Ooh, that sounds really good. Even though this one's more expensive, I think I'll go for that right away. And then we'll do Glide Boost. Cool. So now everybody has upgraded there. We have um, a good chunk of Sparks too. I'm um, a good chunk of star bits to upgrade our sparks. We have currently um, 400 star bits, so that can feed a pyro star, as you can see, to level 100, or to 100 star bits and get to level two. Um, that's cool, so it can just boost some different stats. Let's do the same thing with um, starburst over this way, making it you to level two. And then lastly, the same thing to the other one. So we had right up this way, the reflector. I have some extra sharpets left over, but I think I'll save it like that for now. Everybody is boosted up and strengthened for our next battle. That sounds great to me. So let's go into this right over here and take this on. Temple rescue, we need to be level four. So hopefully we're powerful enough for this. I'm a little scared. Oh boy, the temple rescue, here we go. We gotta reach that area. So that's more important than um, actually defeating these enemies, but we're probably bound to defeat some enemies along the way. I think for this one, keeping all of our uh, combos in mind, I think I'll do Rabid Mario and Rabid Peach, but let's read about super effects. Super effects can be applied to potentially anyone, generating unique behaviors. Here, the burn super effect sets its target alight. Super effects are useful against enemies if you take care to avoid their resistances and exploit their weaknesses. For example, the scoper is weak against burn. Equip one of your heroes with Pyrostar might then be a good strategical move. Always remember to use the tactic cam by pressing L to check enemies' weaknesses and resistances. So yeah, we can see that when we're using different effects. Um, these guys, they're neutral, so they don't have any strength or any weaknesses. But if we go all the way out to the scoopers, like they just said, they are weak to fire, but they're strong against frostbite. So if we had a frostbite effect, we wouldn't want to use it against the scoper. It would be sort of a waste of effort. So managing our team really quickly, before we get into it, I wanna get Rabid Peach out here. And when it comes to the Sparks, let's go ahead and equip Rabid, or the, the Pyrostar here. That seems pretty good to me, and we'll also have the uh, Reflector. That'll be good because Rabid Mario is going to be up there in their faces, so having some kind of reflection damage, I think is good. So that's my strategy going into this fight. Hopefully we can get there and save you. We'll have to see. Um, but for now, let's dash through you. And what is this button? Use the button. Huh. Whoa, so it's gonna open up a bunch more. So maybe I should have fought these enemies off before I did such a thing. But what we're gonna do is just wait about here. Cause remember that scoper over there, what we could do, um, burn attack, all weapon based attack steal. Okay, so that sounds good to me. We'll use our little spark friend and attack 
you over there. It's super effective, so let's go for it. And it might not take them out. We'll have to wait and see. They're running around, they're on fire. Oh, that's gotta hurt. I think that actually might be enough. And if it's like the first game, that they run into other opponents while they're on fire, I'll light them a fire too, or a blaze. So let's switch over to Rabid Mario. Dash into you. And then we might just wanna punch them out. It might be our best bet for right now, just so we can make sure that um, we're moving forward and not getting too much damage taken. So yeah, let's punch you like this. I'm glad that doesn't hurt teammates anymore. Usually those kind of moves would hurt teammates as well. They just, it made some things a little bit of a mess, but we're good for now. We can end the turn there. Pass it to the opponents. And they're moving around a little bit more. And we'll just try to take out as many opponents as we can along the way. But for right now, you know what? Let's do this the opposite way. Let's get Rabid Peach out here. And then Rabid Mario can team jump off of you, land right over this way as much as we can possibly manage. There we go, now you two are in trouble, huge trouble. Actually, you three, I didn't even see you over there. So let's go ahead and start throwing some punches and get rid of the rest of those Rabbids, no problem. I don't see any others on the field. See, I think we're good. Um, we'll just keep Rabid Mario there and we'll just move Rabid Peach out as far as we can manage it, which it just seems to be right here. Okay, very cool. End the turn like that. And let's see, they might start shooting at us, unfortunately. Um, no, they won't. Okay, we're fine then. How do I do this then? I think we want to switch over to Rabid Mario and first press this button. There we go. And that should open up at least some of it. But what will the other button do? Now I'm really curious. So I'm going to run Rabid Mario over to this side, switch to Rabid Peach, so that we can team jump over and try to get to this side and then just drop down on it. Serving looks. Serving looks, and press this button. That just opens up the other side, I guess so. Okay, so there's a couple of things we probably wanna do here. I'll wait here for now. Unfortunately, none of our weapons can reach from here. If I were to do this, it would. But is it worth putting ourselves in the risk area? I don't think so. So we'll just end the turn there with them. And sort of the same thing with Rabid Mario. I guess I'll just hide around here. So. End the turn like that. I think we'll be safe. Some of them are going to move closer and try to attack. But it won't break anything just yet. Let's see, we'll fast forward so we can see a little bit more about what's happening here. There's one more. That might end up hitting Rabbit Mario. It doesn't though, so very lucky for us. Uh, what I wanna do is switch over to Rabbit Peach. And, oh, I can't quite reach him from here, but what I could do, let's leave you here. I would like to Slide attack you, boom. That's a good dash move, for sure. Then we can jump over you like this. I wonder how far we can go with this. Could I reach the button? I could. So I'm just really curious to see what this will do for us right now. Just open up another spot. But more than that, we could turn back over and hit this weapon. You know what? Oh yeah, here, here, here. Just like that, they're gonna be in so much trouble. Boom, boom, boom. And now, you gotta stay here. But this is where we can use this Reflect Spark. If they do attack us here, we can hit them back pretty well. And then, there's the, also the special move, but unfortunately I don't have the points for that. So let's switch back over to Rabbit Peach. Um, here there's a couple of things I might be able to do. I can heal you for a little bit, but I might wanna save it and I could just get rid of you. Yeah, let's just finish this one off. I know there's a little rabbit to the left of us as well, but we'll save that one for later. Okay, so yeah, there's not too much more we can do at this moment. Let's end the turn. And, and there's another one coming up. I didn't even see those two over there, so oh no, poor rabbit Mario is gonna take some damage. This one's causing some trouble. So take it easy. So first things first then, let's heal rabbit Mario almost back to full. Ooh, good moves. I think it's our first time seeing this, right? Oh no, actually, I think we saw it before. So, what can we do here? One thing is that's pretty nice is we could just combo our team jumps, so I could land about here, and then switch back to Rabbit Mario, jump over Rabbit Peach, and land right here. And that should be the mission completed. Well, there we go. We're coming to get you, little spark. Aw. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Run! This is too much. I feel so bad for the little sparkle. We have more rabbits to deal with. Whoa, Rabbit Mario! 
What a cool dude. Hey! <laughs> hey! We're chasing after still. Oh no, there's so many of them. Uh oh. Whoa! Whose sword was that? It's you! The person who followed us in! <laughs> Whoa. So cool. So who's this person? I don't know, but they're awesome. Ooh, they're just, they're just dealing with them no problem. Would not want to be them right now. <laughs> Robin Mario's in love. They're so cool. Wow. What an introduction. And they're a friend. A perfect package. <laughs> uh oh. What is that? Oh no. Whoa! Watch it! What is that thing? Whoa, it's huge! It's like a tiger rabbit? Well, let's work together, driven to the edge. This is cool. Defeat giant wild claw. Wow, okay. Assuming we can trust the ominous stranger, having three heroes cooperating on the battlefield would give a huge advantage. It definitely would. So, let's try to figure this out a little bit. First, let's manage our team and read a little bit more about our mysterious friend, Edge. Whoa, I can't even read any information about them, but they're a blade master. And they have their own spark too. So that's really cool. So let's try this out then. Um, I guess I should have also taken a look with Bimo or Beepo. Um, the giant wild claw viciously goes after its nearest challenger to unleash area attacks that inflict a massive amount of damage. If attacked, it will charge at its attacker in a rage, during which it will launch an extra attack. So this thing is highly, highly dangerous with over 1,800 damage or health points. Um, that's pretty interesting. So what can we do here with Edge? Um, I guess for right now, we will run up like this. But let's see what we have here. We have the Fortify. Allies within range take 25% less damage, including super effects. But we also have the Stormblade. All targets in range are dealt 140% damage plus any super effects if any one of them move within the line of sight. Has one charge. And we have this thing right here. Um, whoa! This is the Flying Blade, so we can throw the sword. When thrown at an enemy, it ignores partial cover while hitting multiple targets along the way before coming back. Before we do any of those then, I think we should switch over, oh no. What, will this would affect multiple people? And I think it just affects Rabid Mario. Hmm. Then I think I'll keep them over this way. We'll switch back over to Edge and do this flying blade and see what ends up happening because of course Wild Claw is gonna come charging at us with this. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. Uh oh, here we go. Run away. Okay, well it doesn't quite meet up with this entirely. Interesting. So I could try that, but I think we're gonna keep them there for now. Um, we can run over a little bit with Rabid Peach. And once again, if we check with Beepo, what is there? They are undashable, cannot be dashed, but they're resistant to all special effect types. Good to know. Um, in the meantime, can I reach him? I don't think I can yeah, really reach him too much from here. So we might just get rid of, rid of whatever rabbit might be nearby. Which right now seems to be this one. Okay, good enough. They get too much closer, we can just stash them. And we have Rabbit Mario, who can't quite uh, reach where we need to be. That's a little unfortunate, but we could try over this way. Um, how does this one work again? Counter blow. Okay, I might not want to use that just yet. We'll just stay, stay over this way and end the turn. We haven't done a ton with the other characters, but we will soon. So they're gonna try to fire us, fire at us over that way. Everybody's sort of in trouble at the moment. This is getting really scary. 
Ooh, that one directly hit Rabbit Mario. You can only hide in so many spots. Oh gosh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Here we go. So I, I wonder if we Look, just those appear to be darkness portals. Destroy them quickly. More enemies are bound to pop out soon. Uh-oh. So we need to get some enemies over there or some teammates over there as soon as possible. For right now, I'm definitely just gonna dash this one. Um and I could keep it moving. If we go over on this side, I might just be able to blast you. Yeah, there we go. Um, just so that I can get over there sooner, we can get rid of that thing. In the meantime, let's switch back over to Edge. Who, um, there's some enemies over there that we can't quite reach too easily, but what if I were to actually go to Rabbit Peach? I can't quite reach you either? You're kidding me. Um, maybe I could make them reach about halfway, like this. Would this be worth it? We're gonna find out. We're gonna be we're gonna jump over and see if maybe this was worth my time at all. I get at least one of them, so I can run up and dash you. It has been real. Um and then we can just get rid of this one. So we're slowly making it our way over to that darkness portal. But in the meantime, back over to Edge. We have Edge's ability here. I might just wanna hide back this way then and keep distracting you. That might be, we could also try the special up close. So let's try this. Do the fortify, so we take 25% less damage. Then, we will try this move, the storm blade. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Honing in our energy. And then, oh no, but I can't attack you now. I, I messed it up, I messed it up. I thought that that would be an attack. Uh oh, so. That unfortunately wasn't very worth it. Oh no. Hold on tight, Rabbit Peach. Okay, they didn't attack just yet, so their attack range is really, really small. Okay, it only spawned in one more rabbit. That's actually not too big of a deal. Um, oh, but there's another two popping up. I feel like chasing them might be a little bit futile then. I think we just might wanna throw our sword at you and just really try to damage you down as much as possible. Ooh, that does a lot, for sure. So you'll run over a little bit. Uh-oh, scary. Uh, but we're gonna switch over to Rabbit Peach. And while this is going to be a bit resistant, I can't imagine it'll do less than if we just normally attacked, you know? So actually, before we do that, let's hide a little bit farther back, maybe? There we go. It is resistant, but I think it'll still do the damage. Maybe it would've been better just to attack normally. I have no clue. Uh, well, good things to learn. Let's switch over to Rabbit Mario. You can't really do too much. I don't know if that's even gonna reach. Unfortunately not. Uh, what should I do instead then with him? I, I really don't know. I guess we'll just leave it like this. How does this work again? Foes using weapon attacks are immediately counterattacked. I guess, but against Drab and Mario, right? So maybe we'll just get him closer. This is a bit of a weird situation, but more rabbits are moving in. He's getting hit. I probably should have put him in a better spot. Oh, but you're moving over. You're just, just back and forth with a wild claw here. I'm mostly focused on the boss fight for now, though. I think that's the smartest move. Uh, okay, so you have more rabbits are moving in, and maybe that is a problem. But for right now, I think we want to uh, do it a couple of things. I would like to move over to Rabbit Peach and get them over here as much as possible so that we can do a heal. That would be cool, but I don't know if that's gonna really work. Like if I used you and put you maybe here, that would sort of work, but that's also maybe not the best idea. <laughs> okay, uh, hmm. Maybe it's not worth worrying about too much. I'm just gonna toss the sword at you after I move Rabbit Mario. No, I can move Rabbit Mario over. Okay, so yeah, we'll do this. I will activate this thing. Oh, look at our punches. We're ready. And we'll throw that punch over in just a moment. First off, I want, oh, but that's right, okay. So, I mean, this is what matters the most, I think. Mm. Obviously, Edge has taken some damage too, but he'll, we'll heal 30 HP for now. This'll, you know, have a cooldown over time anyways. If we really need to, we also have mushrooms. Okay, so, yeah, let's get this. And they might run over and actually do damage to Rabbit Peach. Oh, they're knocked over for now. Oh, it's close! Scary! Ah! Oh, that did a ton! Uh-oh. Okay, good to know. It's very, very risky. But we're gonna switch over to Rabbit Mario um, and just hit you with everything we got here. Uh, yeah, let's see. 
Boom. And if you attack, we should do a counter attack? No, that's not how it worked. Uh, well actually, here we go. Oh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. But will you attack again because of that? Uh, no, okay. I was waiting for it, but it just didn't happen. Um, so in the meantime, I'll just toss a sword over. And we are getting them lower and lower, but we are also starting to take some good numbers of damage here. So it does get a bit scary. We might get hurt again next this turn. Um, but we just need a little bit more to damage down before we have Wild Call taken out. Yeah, it definitely hurts. Oh. Rapid Mario is getting lower and lower, and so is Edge. So let's try this out. Even if the attack, oh gosh, lands here. Oh no, that's actually his edge taken down. That's definitely scary. Well, let's try this out. First off, hitting with this. Maybe I should have hit undercover first, I don't know. But we're so close to getting rid of you that I'm hoping that I can just do this. Would this be enough? It wouldn't be, but maybe if I use the deflection, it would be. And then maybe I could angle myself like, okay, I thought there was maybe a rabbit over there I could hit, but there is one here. Wait, what just happened? Just got dizzy? Oh, okay, um, not what I intended. Is there any way I could maybe hit them both? I don't think so. So we're just gonna try to bring you over this way so that you're not getting rid of both of us. Come on, can I get a critical? Almost, right? Okay, now this is gonna hurt us. Oh no, but we do do the reflection. So there we go, Wild Claws defeated and our battle is cleared. We did it. Great work. Whoa, purified darkness energy crystal obtained and our battle has been cleared. As you can see, we do get some health back and more than that, a ton of experience. Very cool. So everybody is level five now. We get 85 coins, 50 star bits and giant enemies as an encyclopedia entry or a memory. Whoa. So what's happening now? Can we finally save our little buddy? What? I guess so. Excuse me, intimidating stranger. It's vitally important that the spark come with us to the lighthouse. Until we destroy the lighthouse tentacle, we can't create warp tunnels to other planets, and eventually to Cursa. I can unlock the lighthouse. Watch, I'll meet you there. Oh, Whoa! Bingo, bingo, bongo, baby. You got the spark. Let's get it to the lighthouse and. Yeah, uh. <laughs> he's still scared. Yeah. You again, the spark hunter. Not a spark hunter. Name's Edge. Great, Rabbit Edge. Welcome to Edge. Just Edge. Spaceship, huh? You got a spaceship, huh? Guess you can ride sidecar with me for a time. It's not like you can't use the help. Speaking of help, I believe it's time we start keeping three heroes on our front line. Who'll take the first shift? Oh, so we're upgrading from two to three. That's actually gonna be really useful. Third team slot unlocked. You can now bring with you another hero. Open the team selection to select who you wanna bring. Deep water, one out of two purified darkness energy crystals collected. That's very cool. So our main quest is completed there. Come rain or shine, enter the lighthouse. Whoa, okay, so first off, let's grab all these star bits and new quests have been unlocked. If we take a look at those, um, our quest log. So come rain and shine is our main one right now. We need to enter the lighthouse, which I'm sure there's more to do there, but there's also a lot of side quests and stuff. So I guess we have to figure all that out. But for right now, is there anything to do in this area before we leave? Edge joins the team. Very cool. I like Edge a lot. Get it? <laughs> no, it's weather we're not having, hmm? <laughs> hmm. Uh, take a note of. About that dark mess tentacle at the lighthouse, there's a shortcut that way in case you hate walking as much as I do. I don't know where the shortcut is, but you know, feel free to let me know. Uh, there was yeah, a ladder down there that has not been lowered, but I guess we could go this way instead. Yeah, because we can take this flag to teleport around. And there's other things to do here too. So first off, let's go ahead and activate that. So that's a bunch of star bits for us. 
So before we move on too much more, that was a ton of fun. We took on the temple, defeated Wild Call, and met up with our new friend here, Edge. Seems like a pretty cool combo. And we also saved the, the uh, Light Spark. So there's tons of things going on in this game, and we have way more to do as we explore more of Beacon Town and figure out what's going on in the lighthouse. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.